All right, so tomorrow, by the end of the day, I want you to imagine that Trump has completely reversed everybody's views of him in the most profound way that people are saying he's going to surpass Gandhi, he's going to surpass Martin Luther King as this the greatest bringer of peace the world has ever seen. He's, you know, he's within an hour, he's gotten rid of all his ministers that are so uh, inflammatory to so many people. Um, he's brought peace to all these countries by midday that have been in conflict for, for since people have memories of that are still alive. Um, he's done all these incredible things. He's given up all his worldly possessions. He's just, you know, getting rid of his throwing his money around. He's trying to get rid of money itself because he sees it as this terrible medium. Um, and so he's just right on with all of his ideals and he's speaking, speaking them and he's not holding back. And so Trump's doing all these great things. And by spring, which is only a few days away, people are just very relaxed. They feel like the world is going to be okay. We're, you know, there's some good plans and energy towards not um, destroying life on Earth. The biomass and biodiversity is no longer under threat because of human act, uh, activity. There's been all these, uh, there's just this general sense that things are great. All that being said, Muslim for a month still needs to happen um, because it's not something that is should be conceived of in reaction and in fact when I thought of it um, it was before these uh, Muslim bans were put up to these to the countries that um, that are, were restricted from traveling and before there was the threat of deportation to all these immigrants um, I was thinking I would celebrate Ramadan for a month to prove my love to somebody in particular. Um, so that's why I was going to do it. And then suddenly all this stuff has been happening and people have been quite naturally reacting to being under attack in a variety of ways, symbolically um, for who they are, for what they are. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's very understandable and a lot of people very justly have been rushing to their defense and to show solidarity. But I want to, us to imagine that we're doing this not just out of reaction and out of fear and defense, but that we're actually just proactively uh, going to say to our Muslim brother and sisters, we, we're with you and we see the wisdom of your heritage in doing this month-long fast of Ramadan and as difficult and challenging as it is um, and for for you we're gonna join you and it's gonna be very difficult it's not supposed to be easy it's supposed to be hard that I think that makes it all very much more valuable so um, we should do this and we should commit to it soon so regardless of what's happening um, by the end of May, when Ramadan begins, we're all there. We're bonding, doing this together. Um, and we could invite Republicans to do it. We can invite Trump to do it. We can invite the, the people who are your enemies. It doesn't matter. The point is to show solidarity and to reach out. Um, and that's what I kind of want to see happen. Um, and I'm going to do it either way, but I think it'd be great the more of us that can do it um, and just show that we're, we're willing to struggle um, in this kind of uh, way and honor something very sacred. Uh, and it's all the more powerful still that we're not Muslim and that we're not necessarily in any way saying we're going to be, but that we respect the wisdom and um, I think it could be a very powerful way of bonding some wounds that have been there long before Trump came along. Um, some divisions that uh, don't need to be there and we could get rid of them and we don't need to wait for a reason. We could just do it um, because we have that power in the present to heal things. Mwah.